Political ads are everywhere right now, and they'll fill the airwaves until Election Day this November in just under seven weeks. Many of these ads take a negative approach, attacking the campaign's opponent. WGEM's Missouri Capitol reporter Hannah Falcon looked into how effective these negative ads really are. When you turn on your television, you're likely inundated with political ads. Some of those focus squarely on a competitor's weaknesses. Lucas Kruntz and I didn't learn the meaning of family values from rich politicians and self-help authors like Josh Hawley. Lucas Kuntz supports the radical trans agenda. It's gross. These negative ads, often called attack ads, are widely disliked. Some of them are just ugly and nasty and mean-spirited. But Columbia College political science professor Terry Smith says you keep seeing them because they work. Everybody hates negative ads, but the reason that people use them is because they work. They appeal to the gut and, and people react politically to being appealed to at the gut level. Smith tells me it's a psychological impact making these emotional appeals very effective, no matter how negative they are. A Cambridge University study says there's actually no real way to tell before an ad airs how effective it will be. But it also points out that some ads are definitely more effective than others. University of Missouri economics professor Jeff Milio tells me it's much more difficult for a newcomer to outperform an incumbent. He says it takes more advertising, which means more money. Usually those races aren't very competitive, but if a challenger can, can you know, that doesn't have to spend more, but can just be competitive in terms of advertising. It's probably because they're a very strong challenger and the incumbents in a very weak position. When asked about negative ads, Josh Hawley campaign staffer Abigail Jackson tells me Missourians deserve to know about Kuntz's nutty positions. They also deserve to know if he's supporting Kamala in the upcoming election. Is he? And Lucas Kuntz's senior advisor, Connor Lonsbury, tells me Josh Hawley has exclusively run $3 million in false attack ads against Lucas because Josh doesn't have a record he can afford to run on. Our ads put Hawley's words and actions on display for Missourians he's trying to hide from. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, WGEM News.